the winner for What's the Big Idea 2013. I really think it's a great concept and idea and in any way we can help the local community and emerging businesses, I'd be glad to help in any way that I could. I'm most looking forward to what is out there that we haven't seen. This is a great chance to give back in a way, to pass it forward by working with entrepreneurs who have good ideas, new, fresh ideas, and see if we can take those ideas to the next level. They will review the universe of applications that we receive. They will part it down to 15. Those 15 will then um, be invited to three Big Idea Launch seminars. They'll attend those classes to prepare to come in to Team Selection Night and do five minute pitches in front of you all. So we'll park the universe of 15 down to nine following Team Selection Night. Then you guys will have about a month um, to work with your teams. So what you all will be preparing them for is the knockout competition. The knockout competitions, what will happen is um, we'll come back and it's eight minute pitches this time so they get a little longer. There will be three competitions and you will select who you want in the first one, who you want in the second one. So it's almost like providing us with a lineup. Following the uh, knockout competitions, you'll have about two and a half weeks to work with the, the folks going on to the finals. Um, to provide them with some good information before they go to the final. The first thing we're going to cover up front is the business model. They ought to be able to come up with a, a five minute presentation basically on the value proposition, the market opportunity, and what their solution is. We want this to be simple uh, based on this process that they can do in a couple of weeks. And all of this, by the way, is elements of the final presentation. What they're learning in the first week adds it's all cumulative to putting the final presentation together. This is the only competition around that's open to the Main Street Entrepreneur. Now I want to start with this just to give you an idea. Most people say educational games, you start with the education, you go to the game. Well instead, why don't we start with the game? Everyone knows angry birds. You take birds and you fling them at pigs, all right? When you explain it like that, it makes little to no sense. But you do this. And all of a sudden, it turns into a physics game. You've got gravity, you've got trajectory, parabolic trajectories. All right? This is what I mean by engaging experience. So our first game is going to be for the intro chemistry course, all right? So imagine that you're in a fantasy world, and heroes are running around slaying dragons, slaying demons, they're getting loot. Well, instead of playing the hero, you play the shopkeeper, you play the apothecary. You have to go to your back room and do chemistry experiments to get potions. So a hero might come to you and say, man, I captured this ghost in this jar. I need to know what kind of ghost it is. Well, you go back to your lab bench, you go to this apparatus, and you put it in, and you say, oh, PV equals NRT. I know some stuff, I can identify this ghost, and then I can sell it for a profit. So our revenue model is twofold. First, we take this chemistry game, we sell it outright to the textbook publisher. All right? What that does is build our credibility with it. From there, we build more games, create a library, a suite of games in all these different subjects, sell it as a license to more publishers. And that's a big problem we wanted to tackle. But we wanted to tackle it differently than Monster.com or CareerBuilder. Because they match a lot of people based on experience and skills. And what we wanted to do was to kind of match people on also on personality. So the first thing we started to do was take personality surveys. And the more personality surveys we took, the more we understood there was a different problem that we could solve. It's usually 300 questions, and it's about four hours, and it's really just a series of statements, right? And it's one statement after another, after another, after another. And over time, you lose interest in the survey. The more we realize, there's got to be a better way to do this. So we came up with an innovation, which we call an answer cloud. And instead of a series of statements, we take these statements, turn it into phrases, and put it on what we call the answer cloud. And it allows the respondent to drive the process. They can pick and choose which ones they want to respond to first. And in that process, we actually capture the behavior. What they care most about because they answer it first, we actually capture how long it took them to answer each question and so forth. And we capture this behavior. Right now, it takes two people to fit the pipe together because it takes two people to square it. 
one person has to hold the frame and square or a protractor. The other person has to measure the tape from end to end to make sure that they've got the same measure. When you've got the same measurements, you know your pipe running in the direction of these four measurements. Any angle, any pipe, two ends. Is it on the inside or the outside of the offset at any degree on any size pipe? Five minutes. Five minutes is a big deal because on a good day you'll make 40 fits. You figure a pipe fitter and a welder making 40 fits in a day, saving five minutes 40 times, you're talking three hours and 30 minutes. You got 10 groups of pipe fitters and welders, you're talking 10 times that. So that's a big savings. My marketing and sales approach, start off making personal contacts through existing industrial organizations, trade shows, easy to use a website with a social strategy built to push sales. The winner for What's the Big Idea 2013, Pipe Fighters. <laughs> it's an awesome idea, and this is something that's different than the other things. It deals with real construction, real, and really making something. There's so many of the other things with technology, and I thought that they were competing with one another. But um, he came up with a great idea, the better mousetrap. My name is Stephen Pearson, and I just won the What's the Big Idea. <laughs> Did she bring those squares out here? Right? Yeah.